Hi, so in this video we are going to learn about arithmetical progressions. So let's first start with the definition. As you can see, I have already noted it down. So the definition says quantities or numbers are said to be in arithmetic progression when they increase or decrease by a common difference. Right? So if you have seen my earlier videos in number patterns, I have frequently used arithmetic progressions. So a number pattern like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 and so on. This will be called arithmetic progression. Why? Because in this case this is the first term and the second term is 2 more than its previous term. Right? Similarly 6 is 2 more than 4. 6 plus 2 gives us 8. Right? And 8 plus 2 gives us 10. And 10 plus 2 gives us 12 and 12 plus 2 gives us 14. So this satisfies the condition of arithmetic progression. It is an increasing arithmetic progression, right? We start from a smaller number and we are reaching till 14. Where the first term is 2. Let me circle the first term in red. And the common difference is 2. Every time we have to increase a term by 2 to get the next term, right? Or if I write a series like 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, the next term will be 0 and after that we'll have minus 10, minus 20 and this can go on, right? So here the first term is 100 and to find the next term we have to subtract 10 every time. So 100 minus 10 gives us 90 and 90 minus 10 gives us 80 and 80 minus 10 gives us 70, right? So what is this series? This is a decreasing arithmetic progression where the first term is 100 and the common difference is minus 10, right? So, if I write the first term as A and the common difference as D, I can write a generalized format of an arithmetic progression where the first term will be A and second term will be A plus D and the third term will be second term plus D that will be A plus 2D and fourth term will be A plus 2D plus D that is 3D. Then we have A plus 4D and after that we'll have A plus 5D and this can continue, right? So this is the generalized form of an arithmetic progression where A is the first term. This is the first term and D is called common difference. So, this is the generalized form of the arithmetic progression, right? And how can you find a particular term in this progression? If I number these terms in this series, this is the first term, right? This is the second term, this is the third term, this is the fourth term, this is the fifth term and this is the sixth term, right? So, if I write a generalized format for the nth term, Tn will be equal to first term plus n minus 1 d, right? To find the third term, we are adding two d's to a. To find the fifth term, we are adding 4 d to a. So, if we continue in the same fashion, to find the nth term, we have to add n minus 1 d to a, right? So, this is the generalized form to write any arithmetic progression and this is also a formula to find the nth term of the arithmetic progression, right? In next few videos, we are going to find the formula to find the sum of an arithmetic progression and we are also going to learn how to insert arithmetic means between two numbers. So keep watching MathSmart for upcoming videos.